So we are in my bedroom, if you cannot tell. This is where I'm gonna do my next little decluttering project. You know, our bedroom has been a work in progress for quite some time. We did finally get a new bed, which I absolutely love. I love this bed so much. It's just so beautiful. We both fell in love with the bed. It took about three or four months for it to actually come in, but we've had it since I'd say around June and we love it. So if you are new to my channel, I am redecorating my entire room. Now we've been taking baby steps on this because the bed was pretty expensive. I'm not gonna lie, it was, it was more expensive than I thought it was going to be, but it was the bed that we just both liked and I, I just want my bedroom to be this beautiful oasis that I can just relax in and feel good in. And so that this bed really, um, fit the mold for both of us. And so we got the bed and now I'm continuing to work on decluttering different areas in my room. Behind me, I decluttered my dresser not too long ago. Like I, I wanna say in the beginning of the summer, all my clothes in there still fit really, really well. I'm able to just fold everything and put it away. I, don't ask me why we have this nursery chair in here. This was in the guest room and then I had company come um, over the summer, my cousins, and then we moved it in here, but we, we definitely don't wanna keep it in here. It's just in here for now until I could figure out a way to either donate it, goodwill it. I probably need to clean it with my little Bissell um, green machine first, but either way, it's not staying in here because I want where I'm standing right now to be a, a sitting area for us. But anyway, I digress. I am going to declutter my nightstand. I've never decluttered my nightstand before. I don't even know what's in the drawers, girl. I'm so tired of it being so cluttered with a lot of stuff. I just want a clear space. I, I, I don't want to have anything on there. Maybe just the remote controls and that's it. I don't even keep my phone next to my bed anymore because I find it's easier for me to get up in the morning if I keep it across the room where I have to get up out of the bed to cut my alarm off. And so, yeah, I just, I just, I don't know. It just feels cramped over there in the corner corner and I just want it to feel clear. You know, I have no idea what's in the drawers. Like I said, I've never decluttered th these drawers and we've had these nightstands since we first got married. We're going, we're 14 years, 14 and a half years now in. So I have no idea what's in there. We definitely don't want to keep these nightstands for the bedroom makeover. We do want to get new nightstands. I don't want my dresser to be in here. I want all of my clothes to be in my closet. That's the ultimate goal. So that is just where I'm going. I, we're going to paint in here. It's, I just want it to be a vibe, a vibe of relaxation, a vibe of just refreshing, just like spa-like, just our personal oasis. I just want my home to, to reflect that. So anyway, all right, so that's enough of me yapping. Let's get over to the space and get started. So here's my bed. I know it's like half made up, but it is what it is. I still do have my Brooklinen um, duvet cover on. I did a sponsored video with them. I still very much love my sheets and my duvet cover and duvet on here. Um, but I just love the bed so much. But I just cannot wait to paint in here and have pretty pillows. I, we are pillow people. For those that have been subscribed for a while, you already know my struggle with pillows. I sleep with four pillows, my husband sleeps with two, and then we have one in the middle in case the girls come in. <laughs> so that's a total of seven pillows on my bed. And so that's just the reality of it. I see those beautiful Instagram bedrooms of like interior designers who have those beautiful pillows where you chop it, boom, like that, and they just stand up perfectly. I think it would look so pretty on this bed. But realistically, would I do that every morning? Absolutely not. But I do, like I said, wanna have our sitting area over on this side, but anyway. All right, so this is what we're working with right here. Ignore the curtains for now. <laughs> um, I have a, a small window here and those are my blackout curtains. But yeah, like I said, this is a judge-free zone, y'all. Okay, so if you feel like you wanna make a judgmental comment, please don't and exit left um, or exit right, the upper right-hand corner, you can hit that X or scroll to the next video. <laughs> but you know, I'm a work in progress and this is, this is where we're at. So I think what I'm gonna do is start to clear off everything on here. I don't know why I have NyQuil in here. I really, I guess from when I was sick, I have my nasal spray for my allergies. If my allergies act up. That doesn't, it just doesn't need to be here. So I'm going to go ahead and just clear everything off and then make the decisions right away. That's how I declutter now. I make the decision right away. Is it trash or am I gonna keep it? I doubt I can donate anything on here. So it's like either trash or keep it. So I got my little trash bag here. Let's go ahead and get started.
gosh, it feels better already. Look at that shine. If I could just keep it like this, right? That would be great. These are little notes from the girls. I'm one of those people that keep my Apple boxes. I don't know why. I, I read something, or I heard that like always keep your Apple box because if something goes wrong where you lose your phone or something, it's something about these codes on the back here, like this. Like they can scan it at the Apple store. Oh, so anyway, this is for my little neck massager thing, neck weighted thing. I think that's even in my office. A lot of this stuff is just in this place. So I'm gonna keep it here for now until I get ready so I can take the rest of the drawers out, the rest of the stuff in the drawers, and then we'll decide where everything's gonna go. Wow, this is very random, but look at my baby. I don't know why that was in there. Oh, look at my baby. This is Ava's little baby book. I remember my mom made this so really quick. Let's just look at a couple of the cute photos. Oh. 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 Look at my little baby girl. Oh. Okay, that's enough. No, that doesn't belong in there. So, that's just crazy. That's how that shows you how long ago I opened this drawer. I have like random curlers, scissors. All right, let me just take everything out. Seriously, this is from when I had to have been pregnant with Ava. Ugh, why is this in here? It's trash. Wow. <laughs> Oldie but goodie. How, how did my baby's little head fit in there? I remember I used to always keep a hat just in case she like sneezed or something. This looks like a doll hat and I would put it on them because I didn't want them to be cold. <laughs> babies mm, I don't know why this was in the drawer just like random stuff I'm finding all this stuff it's crazy do you guys ever do something and then you start it and then it you just don't feel like doing it anymore that's where I'm at I just took a 15 minute break because I just looked like oh my gosh there's just so many little things that's when I really start feeling like overwhelmed because when there's a lot of like little little tiny things that just make up a huge big mess it's like Argh! that's where I'm at gosh let me stay focused let me stay focused Y'all, I am finding all types of stuff in this drawer. Okay, I want you to guess the year. Guess the decade and the year with these glasses. I cannot believe I wore these glasses. Uh, they're so small. Like I'm so used to like my cat eyes or just my big frames. These are so small. Like I can barely see out of them, but guess the year, okay? I will tell you at the end of the video what year I wore these, but clearly it was a long time ago, <laughs> clearly. All right, so. I got two bins, one for my husband's stuff, one for my stuff, just to kind of like put them somewhere until I can go through everything and see what I'm gonna keep. Um, so the first, the top of course is clear. This first drawer is clear. And now I gotta work on the second drawer. I have no idea what's in here. <sighs> Oh my gosh look y'all I bought this when I was pregnant with Zara okay Let's see if it's a oh my gosh 
she still works. And I would use it to listen to her heartbeat. I would use it to listen to her heartbeat because I was just paranoid and crazy. So I would listen to her heartbeat with this. <laughs> All right, let me focus. Nope, don't have time. Don't have time. That's what the professional organizer said. Just keep moving on. Just keep moving on. I'm just going to pull everything out. All of it. I don't know what these papers are doing here. Look what I found, y'all. Singular. Not even in business anymore. But this, I loved this phone. If anybody of a certain age remembers this Blackberry and remember before AT&T, before it became AT&T, it was singular. And before that, it was Bell South, girl. Yes, I've loved this phone and I've had the same number for almost 20 years. Y'all, during COVID, I went through this phase where I like wanted to do these, I guess they're called friendship bracelets. I don't know, but I got heavy into it. I'm finding all these old strings. Um, it lasted for about a month or two and then I was just over it, but I feel like this is so pretty. I should just finish it. Almost there y'all. Y'all, I am finding all these gems that are taking me back down memory lane. This is my student loan that I have. Praise God that my student loans are paid off. That was what my balance was in 2005. I'm just showing this to show you that you can pay it off if you want to. And if, if, if God has blessed you for your student loans to be forgiven, that is a blessing y'all. <laughs> okay, it is a full blessing because just Looking at that 14504 to have to come out of your, your pay every month. It's just, or have to pay it every month. It's just so frustrating, but I don't know why I kept this. It was <laughs> a drawer. I'm going to, I'm going to keep it as a reminder. Like, look at how far you've come. I'm so proud of you kind of thing. You know, I used to talk about finances all the time on this channel. I created a whole other channel dedicated to finances called moms and money. The link is in the description box where we talk about finances, but We've come a long way and I am super proud. Y'all, this ended up being so much harder than I anticipated. I'm still not done. There's so much like paper, trash, stuff that we need to keep. Like, and you know what I realized that when we moved to this house, um, I did not have like an office space or a filing cabinet or someplace where I put all of our files. And I used my nightstand. I used my nightstand for that. I use my nightstand to just put paper in. Important papers, I just stuffed it in the nightstand. And I'm just going through like 15 years worth of stuff here. I mean, obviously I did get a, a, create an office space, you know, a couple of years later, but still those first couple of years we lived here, like before I had Zara, I was using my nightstand as an office space. So I'm just like slowly going through the things. I'm just feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Like I don't want to finish it, but I cannot leave it like this. I just have to keep pushing forward no more breaks and just you know get to a point where i'm ready to put stuff back in all right y'all this is where we're at i actually keep my baby's teeth all their teeth that they the tooth fairy came for in here i'm crazy yes i keep their teeth um because i'm nuts but yeah so I, ju I just have to start making decisions here and just think about what i want in the drawer this is my eye mask massager my eye massager it actually feels really good. I sometimes use it. So that goes back in my drawer. And then the rest of the stuff, like I just, I'm trying to think like hand sanitizer, hand lotion, and some Vaseline for my lips, but that's maybe a pen and my, a notebook. Cause I always keep a notebook cause I think about something that I need to write down. And then that's it, the remote controls, of course. So this is all trash here, except for my old camera. I found my camera from when we went to Europe. Um, back in 2010 and the memory card was in there. <laughs> so I took the memory card downstairs. I'm going to look through it um, on my office, but uh, or on my computer. But yeah, the stuff in the bags is trash. So, and then I have these from when I redid my office and these are extra little containers that I didn't use. So I bought those up just in case I wanted to use them. These drawers are pretty thick. Like 
You see how thick that is? It's so deep. Really, I can put like pajamas or what is this? I'll throw that away. I can put like pajamas in here if I wanted to use this space. Again, we're getting new nightstands, so I'm just gonna probably put some of my books and of course my Apple boxes in there and then that's it. Um, and then this top drawer, so I'll keep like my remote controls, my extra chargers, hand sanitizer and stuff like that. Here we have it. Oh my gosh, this area over here just feels so much bigger. I don't know, I just, it feels really, really good to not have anything on here to easily, quickly clean this off. Oh, I forgot to look to see what's back there. Oh, some Tums, let me get that. To be honest, y'all, since I've been fasting and eating clean, I really haven't even had to use Tums. I used to have to take them every night, but I don't have to take any of the allergy medicine, the nasal spray or anything anymore. But anyway, that's another video for another day. But look at this. You guys remember what it looked like before, right? Okay, let me show you what's in here. It's just, I don't know. I don't even use this stuff every day, but I definitely use put the Vaseline on my lips every night before I go to sleep. And that's like my electronics bag with extra chargers and stuff. It's actually just travel with that, but that's just where I keep my extra chargers. Some hair ties, lip gloss, this cough. I usually use this for the girls. It's really shouldn't even be in there. Some hand sanitizer and that's it. My eye mask massager. I do have some Tums back there. And then, and this one's where I keep the books and the Apple boxes. So to go from where we are, where we were to here, I will gladly, gladly take it. I'm just so proud of myself. I pushed through. So I found this alarm clock that was randomly in there. I'll probably give it to one of the girls, whoever wants it. If not, I will just donate it. And this is all the trash. Not my rag, but this is trash too. Yep, this was all trash that was in there. So uh, I'm happy to get it out of the house. Of course, that's a win. You always want to look to see what you actually got out of the house. Uh, this is stuff that I'm going to go through. This is the stuff that my husband's going to go through to see what we want to keep. I'm really proud of myself. That is something that I had been wanting to do for years. And it feels so much lighter in here just to have that stuff off the top of my nightstand it just feels it feels really good i'm really proud of myself so that's just one little one more check mark off so when it, it comes to when we get ready to get the new nightstands i don't have to go through this whole process of like purging all the stuff that's in there it's already done and i'll be ready to move into my new nightstand easily so slowly but surely we're getting there i'm turning into that girl you know i told you my 40s is all gonna be about my wants and needs and what i need for my life and me redoing this bedroom is definitely one of those things that I have been wanting to do for a long time, but I kept putting off, putting it off and putting it off. And now's the time I'm tired of putting things off. I'm ready to take action to do it. So thank you guys so much for watching me today and decluttering with me today. If there's something that you need to do, I encourage you to just look at that forever to-do list and start getting those things done. I feel like life is too short. We should be living our best lives to our best capabilities um, as we each of us turn into that girl, as I like to say. So that is it, my friends. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.